Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and today we are gonna go over all the interesting new vegan foods I got to try in April. <laughs> I lost track of the months right there. But before we dive right in, we're gonna talk about today's sponsor, which is again, Skillshare. For those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with videos uploaded by certain teachers or experts in their field. They have classes on like drawing, illustration, photography, writing, things like that. Most of you know, I signed up for a membership during like the first quarantine because I had a lot of time on my hands and I really wanted to learn how to use Procreate. I'm currently taking a class right now. It's called Draw Your First Cute Avatar on Procreate by Patricia Diana. And I'm not finished yet, but I can show you my progress. So this is going to be me. And this is going to be my boyfriend, Roberto. <laughs> I think they're really cute, but I do have a way to go. It's honestly a great learning community. You can upload your progress and have the teacher critique your work, and they're always uploading new videos. They don't have any ads, and when you have a yearly membership, it boils down to less than $10 a month. Not only that, but the first 1,000 subscribers to click down below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. When I tell you that this site is totally worth it, it's totally worth it. It's one of the neatest things that I've signed up for. But that's all about our sponsor. Let's head straight into the video. I got to try a lot of interesting things this month, uh, especially some cool things I got to try from H Mart. Oh, and, oh my goodness, huh? I got to try natto. For those of you who've been here for a minute, you've known I've been wanting to try natto for a long time. I don't think you know that I've been wanting to try natto for like over 10 years, but it's really been that long. And I finally got my hands on some, so there will be a natto review later on in the video. But without further ado, here is all the vegan food that I got to try in April. Taste test! Taste test! Alright, we're going to be taste testing these knickknacks, nice and spicy. One euro. Oh, they smell good. Oh, they, they look kind of like Cheetos. Are these like, are these like spicy Cheetos? Bro, they're strangely lemony. This isn't spicy. Spicy where? It's like, it's like lemony vinegary chips. Mustardy chips. Malt vinegar soy sauce. Tastes like a vinegary dipping sauce. Kind of addicting though. I've never had any flavored chips like this before. Hello, what's up? We're about to taste, you get your ass out of here. We're about to taste test some Kelly's croutons. Roberto, hand me the first flavor. Are we gonna start sweet? All right, we're starting sweet. So first we have some cinnamon toast croutons, which I've never, Never tried cinnamon toast croutons before. This is new. Tastes exactly like cinnamon toast crunch. Mmm. With some sort of aftertaste that I'm not sure that I like. Tastes like cinnamon toast crunch sourdough bread. I like it. I like it. What's next? All right. Then we have cheese garlic croutons. Gourmet cheesy garlic croutons. These croutons are, by the way, dairy-free, vegan, soy-free, and no palm oil. Mmm. That shit is garlicky crack. All right, where's the other one? The I know rest, there's another one in there. The rest are crumbs. And then another one of that. Oh, that's it? There's just two oh, flavors? Oh, you have a, put a croutons, but there's crumbs. Oh. And then also there's... I thought there was a third one, but there's not. So like the rest of them are seasoned. Lemon pepper step. Show them your beautiful hat. Got the lemon <laughs> pepper step. <laughs> we have like these um, lemon pepper parm and stuff, which I'm not gonna try right now because I'm not gonna just like put it in my mouth. That'd be weird. But maybe I'll try it later on. And then we have gourmet cheesy parm. The lighting in this clip is not that great, but you guys see what I'm talking about. Oh, and then we have spicy cheesy parm, and then we have. Aloha parm. Ew, does this have like pineapple in it? What makes it aloha? I don't know. We'll find out some other time. We have taco parm. This is too much. We have cheesy chipotle parm. And roasted garlic parm. 
Cinnamon Toast Crumbles. What is it? The other Just Crumbs. Bread Free. Why Bread Free? What is it in it? Just Crumbs. I won't be trying these. Right now. I'll try them some other time, maybe, and we'll, I'll let you know how they are. So thank you, Kelly's Croutons. Those garlicky croutons are amazing. The cinnamon toast croutons are good, too, but the garlic crouton, fantastic. Hello. This is a taste test. I saw this at the grocery store, and it looked good. Soul it. Salty. Salty? Organic ginger made super aid. Light filtered, glass bottled, living beverage. That sounds so pretentious. Ingredients, apple, ginger, lemon. I don't know, it sounds refreshing. I was working hard today. Ooh, it, it, shh. this is like probiotic or something? Well, I like it. It's not sweet. It's like a little spicy from the ginger. It tastes like when you make lemonade at home but put like barely any sugar in it. And then it's like slightly carbonated like kombucha and then gingery. I like it. I will be getting that again. I'm here to tell you that I apologize, but I ate these um, without reviewing them. They were delicious though. I didn't really taste the berry. It says crunchy forest berry chocolate squares. It just tastes like chocolate squares and I really liked them. Also, apparently they have B12 in them. Another thing that also get the thumbs up for me are these veggie wendy the worm snacks sour tastic fizzy fruit gums but there's like a couple different colors like this one is yellow and green love it oh my god don't read the top three ingredients i'll read them for you sugar glucose syrup fructose syrup how many times can you say sugar? But yeah. Good. Good. Hey guys, so today was one of those days where um, my body kind of forced me to take a day off. So I've been in my jammies all day. And what better day than today than to taste test a new plant-based ice cream. Uh, they use olive oil in the ice cream. This is not the first time I've had an olive oil ice cream. Uh, Modern Love makes an olive oil soft serve that Orchard Grocer also sells. So I've had olive oil ice cream in the past and I've really liked it, so I have high hopes. So this company is called Wild Good. Uh, each serving only has 1.5 grams of fat. They're currently available in Wegmans, but they're about to be available in a bunch of other places, including Whole Foods. So today we're taste testing four of their flavors, even though I know they have more than just four flavors. Um, this is the coffee flavor. Then this one is mango. They have mint chocolate chip. And then this one is chocolate hazelnut. Also looking at it, some of them, most of them only have one gram of fat per serving, which is really sus. Oh, one gram of saturated fat per serving. Saturated fat. Okay, because like, you know, ice cream needs more than one gram of fat. But one gram of saturated fat. All right, cool, cool, cool. Roberto's also going to be here with us, but not with us. He doesn't want to be on camera, so he's just going to provide auditory feedback. Yeah. Audit auditory feedback. Um, but let's start with... Chocolate hazelnut. You know, sometimes when people say hazelnut, you don't taste hazelnut, but this tastes more like hazelnut than it tastes like chocolate. Not in a bad way. This is like hazelnut ice cream. I kind of like it. Wanna try it? While he's trying that one, I'm gonna try mint chocolate chip. Tastes like Ferrero Rocher. Mm hmm. And it's pretty smooth, so. This is very much minty, mm, but, okay, this is a pet peeve of mine. I hate when there's cold chocolate in ice cream and it doesn't melt in your mouth, it just kind of crumbles, and this does that. So the flavor is good, but the chocolate tastes crumbly. What do you think of the chocolate texture? I know you don't like those, but I don't mind it. He doesn't mind. I'm used to eating ice cream that had chocolate texture like this yeah. growing up, but this is still like good. Mango's my favorite. Sorry, the lighting is getting like shittier as this clip progresses because I'm shooting this at sunset 
And so the more the sun sets, the stronger the light is behind me and the poorer the lighting in this video is, but like whatever. It's the best one so far. It's so mango-y and creamy. It tastes like a frogan. <laughs> a frogan. A frogan. It tastes like a frozen mango lassi. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It does taste like mango lassi. I was like, what does it taste like? Because it yeah, reminds me of something specific. And then last but not least, I usually really like coffee ice cream. We have coffee. Very strong coffee. Pretty bitter. I usually like strong coffee, but maybe I enjoy my coffee ice creams a little less bitter than this. Here you go. Clear winner. Also, it's this one's like softer too. These two are definite guesses. The hazelnut and the mango. And these two are like okay. And that's your review for tonight. Goodbye. Hello, hello. So I'm in a rush. And you know what's great when you're in a rush? Uh, frozen burritos. So we're gonna be reviewing this frozen burrito. It's gonna be great. My room's a mess. Please don't look at it. Oh, today's frozen burrito review is Alpha Foods. It's their pizza burrito. I tried to keep this packaging intact and it did not succeed very well. Uh, it's about 300 calories and nine grams of protein. It's not a lot of protein, but whatever, it's fine. It's a good, it's a good little small meal. And it looks like this, so emphasis on small. Mm, but it's pizza, so you heck, how can you go wrong? That's not the flavor I wanted it to have. It looks like this. They do have a decent amount of filling, decent amount of cheese. It has a meat crumbly texture. It tastes a lot like peppers and onions. That makes sense because it has peppers, mushrooms, and onions inside. It tastes exactly what it says on the package. It tastes like a cheesy meat crumble pepper and onion burrito. And you know what? It's pretty good, but it does not taste like pizza. It tastes 0% like pizza. It tastes like cheese, meat, and fajitas. There's like no tomato taste to me. Yeah, not pizza. Onion, pepper, and cheesy, beefy crumble. But it's good, and I would get it again. I'm in bed, working, editing videos, blah blah blah, feeling snacky. So I grabbed this uh, Nature's Bakery baked oat bar. We're gonna taste test it. It's very much an OT bar. Not, not, doesn't give me brownie vibes even though it's like chocolate flavored and, it, and it's dropping oat pieces all over me in the bed. That's not bad. It's fine. I wish it was more chocolatey. Meh. Okay, hey guys. So I'm still in the small conference room to do this really quick review. Let me show you what we have today for lunch. Breakfast, breakfast. We have an Alpha Foods pot pie. Now it says pot pie, but it looks more like a pizza pocket kind of shape to me. I always thought pot pie meant it, like, you know, came in a pie, but this looks very much eatable with your hand. Um, the flavor I have today is chicken and veggie. It just says meatless chicken, provolone, broccoli, mushroom, onions, and gravy. And it came frozen and I popped it in the microwave for two minutes. I guess it comes in like a pie thing, like a pie thing, but like, it looks like a, like a dense biscuit with filling, I don't know. The outside is really doughy, like a slightly underdone biscuit, but it's good. My only complaint is that it's fairly small for how calorically dense it is. It's like 500 calories, and look how small it is. That's not like in a calorie phobic way, but usually like when I get something this small, it's like less calorically dense, you know? I don't know. What? It's yummy. I like it. When I tell you this taste test is like 10 years coming, I have been wanting to try natto for 10 years, ever since I saw somebody try it, or not try it, like eat it on YouTube years ago. I do understand it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I generally like eating funky things, so I have high hopes that I'll like it. I'm actually not afraid of the fermented beans. I'm more afraid of the fact that the only vegan version I could find is plum, 
Um, and as you guys know, like I don't generally like sweet and savory so I'm hoping somehow this plum isn't that sweet you know uh, all the other ones had like fish flakes in it and stuff I also have the things I usually see people eat it with so we have just some rice and some kimchi and here are the beans right here for people who don't know natto is fermented soybeans we gotta try it together today. Comes with a seasoning packet. If I do anything wrong, then just like forgive me. I've never done this before. But I'm just gonna do what I've seen other people do. Um, there's like a film on the natto that's um, not coming off because <laughs> all of the beautiful bacteria snot. Oh! I'm actually, I'm not grossed out. I'm just excited. How can I remove this? Oh, it's literally still, I, you can't see it because it's so thin, but like, I don't want to touch it. Uh, okay, I finally, finally got the, the top off. So, you, you don't even know how excited I am. If I don't like it, it's going to be so funny because it's going to be like maybe one of the biggest letdowns in my life. Um, from what I know, you have to like mix it first. People who like regularly eat this are probably like finding this so funny that I'm excited about it. Not very strong at all. It doesn't smell strong at all. I thought it would smell funky or something. I'm so excited. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay. So then you put the seasoning packet in it, right? So I'm just gonna. I would usually film this in my plant room, but my boyfriend's having a meeting in there and I just did not want to wait. Um, I was also advised not to eat it without the seasoning packet, although I kind of wanted to. I have like two more of these in the fridge, so maybe I will. Okay, so um, also this is my breakfast, but I've also seen other people eat it for breakfast. So like, I don't think it's that weird that I'm having this for breakfast. Okay, not gonna lie, the like foamy goo is slightly grossing me out now. Now that it's considerably more gooey. Oh, ah! Okay. The excitement, the excitement. Okay, so I'm gonna just put some, how do you even get a bite? I'm gonna put some on rice. I'm gonna the rice and 10 years of anticipation boils down to this. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Wait, like really slightly bitter um, and like creamy and like nutty. So I put it in the bowl. I'm not the best with chopsticks, so like bear with me. Oh my God. The strings are slightly annoying to eat around. Your girl's a fan. It has like a slightly nutty, funky cheese taste, but it's not that strong. I mean, I'm sure like the, the sauce helps, whatever, but Delicious. I would regularly eat this. Like, I would eat this for breakfast. I'm a fan. That's all. Bye. <laughs> we are going to be trying a deluxe grass jelly dessert. If I get progressively shorter, it's because I'm doing a split to make sure that my head's in the right place. And um, eventually, I just keep slipping. So, uh, it's a grass jelly dessert. I got it from H Mart. The ingredients are pretty simple. Water, grass, jelly, sugar, mung bean, coconut sap. It comes with a spoon. I've never had anything like this. I take it back, like I've had jelly desserts, but I've never had them canned like this. It comes with a spoon inside. That is <laughs> so neat. And you're just like. <laughs> Isn't this the cutest plastic you've ever seen? Oh. Cheers. Not very sweet, very jelly. Fun to squish through your teeth. Mmm. Tastes a little bit like tea. It's ever so slightly sweet. I'm a fan. I would get this again. Stop. Wait, I got halfway through and the bottom has white jelly bits in it. You know, I, sh I initially assumed there were like inclusions or whatever, but then I didn't see any, but there are. They just kind of settled towards the bottom, I guess. These are considerably more chewy. 
This is incredibly fun to eat. I'm a fan. Okay, no, 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 it's not good. And let me explain why, at least not to me. For anyone who likes this, that's great. But at the bottom, there are chickpeas and mung beans. Oh, yeah, oh, there you go. All right, so those are mung beans. And then there's like whole chickpeas in there, like black chickpeas because of like, you know, the color of the pudding or whatever. And the texture is very off-putting. It's not, mm, no, 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 no. I, I liked the texture of the jelly and I liked the texture of whatever this white stuff is. That's good. But the chickpeas and the mung beans, they're a no from me, dog. Would not get again. Okay, good morning. This is one of the coolest things I've had the opportunity to, oh, opportunity to try. Instant bubble tea. I am so excited. I am so excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So this is basically the bubble, the tea concentrate in like this sweetener or whatever. Um, it comes with a straw. You basically heat this up in the microwave for 60 seconds, add milk, and then you magically have bubble tea. So let's go do that right now. All right, so I usually get almond milk or we make almond milk in our almond cow, but I bought soy milk just to try this because I feel like soy milk is more creamy, like it makes more sense, right? So I have a cup of ice. I have the bubble tea that I microwaved. Looks like soy sauce. Um, I'm going to cut it open. Oh, it smells exactly like black tea. Okay. Ooh, yes. I wanted to get that swirly action. I have thoughts. Okay, number one, that is too sweet. I would add maybe some almond milk to like unsweeten it a little bit. And number two, the bubble texture is not the same as regular bubble texture, but that could be because I didn't microwave it for 60 seconds because I didn't want it to get too hot. I microwaved it for like 30 seconds. That's exactly why. Because I just got a warm bubble and it chewed normally. Oh, that's good. Isn't it good? That's really good. It's really good. <laughs> this gets a yes. This gets a yes. Thumbs up from me. If you can, do it. It's delicious. I love it. Okay, bye. Hello, they're doing construction, so just ignore them. But today we are reviewing these noodly dudes that I got from H Mart. They're the only instant noodles that I saw with like a certified vegan on it. So all the other ones I had to like sift through a million ingredients to try to figure out if it was vegan. And this one had a vegan label on it. I've also seen other people eat these too, so I'm fairly confident that they are vegan. It smells really good. It's just a noodle soup with some like veggies in it. Carrot, green onion, corn, shiitake mushrooms. So let's just taste, tasty taste. Mmm. Actually really good. Oh, ever so slightly spicy. Like a one and a half out of 10 spicy. I would get this again. I would eat this again um, as a quick meal. This is delicious. That is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Do you agree or disagree with my rating? Is there anything that you wish I would have gotten and reviewed or that I should get for next month's video? Let me know in the comment section down below. But that is all. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Wait, 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 wait. another reminder. Don't forget to check out Skillshare down in the description. Okay, now bye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariella, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, and Rachel. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.